Today on MTG Unpacked, we're cracking open a whole box of Modern Horizons. Can't wait to get stuck into this. And we also picked up a promo card here. So this is Flusterstorm. This is a instant for a single blue counter target instant or sorcery spell unless its controller pays one. It has Storm. So when you cast a spell, copy it for each spell cast before at this turn you may choose new targets for the copies. So this was the buy a box promo, got a couple of those with the boxes I picked up. And with me to do the pack blessing duties, I have Liliana. So the pack blessings are how we get the crazy pulls now and then. Alright, so let's get stuck into it. Really looking forward to this one. Whole lot of juicy goodness for the modern format. And this design is similar to how they did... Battle Bonds, so let's take a look at the poster, and of course I've ripped it already. Oh dear, yeah the glue is a little tough, but here we are, we get a nice poster. That's one of the swords, very cool detail on that, ignoring the damage at the bottom. Alright, moving right along, let's get stuck into it. So we have 36 packs. This is not like the usual Masters sets where they only have 24. And this is going for about 200 bucks a box. I think I paid uh, 225 at my LGS. So this is how we do the pack blessings. We're going to make them quick. Just a quick run across there. And we'll be skipping over the commons. Just going through the uncommons and rares, mythics, foils, and art cards. So without further ado, let's get stuck into it. And we'll be slowing down, we'll be snacking on the box, another box, in the coming week or so. So stay tuned for that. Start off with a goblin token. Is that... That's a foil goblin token. That's something they've been doing, the foil tokens. Very cool. An art card. So let's get a nice look at that one. That is... Spinehorn Minotaur, 38.54. Alright. So how are we going to do this? Lay those out like so. Then we get a snow-covered forest. That's a new thing. And the rare is Cordial Vampire. Creature Vampire, 1-1 one, one for 2 mana. Another cordial vampire or another creature dies per day, plus one, plus one counter on each vampire you control. And the uncommons we get settled rhyme stag, ravenous giant, good fortune unicorn, and all the commons. Let's set those aside and dig into the next pack. So, are you planning to pick up a box of this or participate in the pre release this weekend? Leave a note in the comments. I unfortunately won't have enough time. Been making videos all weekend, but hopefully you get a chance. There's a foil construct. There's another cool one. I like the glossiness of these art cards too. Good day, snow-covered forest. And the rare is Sunbaked Canyon. So you tap, pay one life, you can add red or white. Pay one, tap, sack it, and draw a card. And we get Vespalark, Icehide Golem, Webweaver, Changeling, and that is it. Let's see, moving right along here. I'm really hoping we pull an Urza, that'd be cool. Okay, are all these? No, not all the tokens are foil. Okay, so we get an Illusion token. Put the non foils over here. Some more of this cool art. Snow covered island and the rare is Aria of Flame. So this is an enchantment for three. When it enters by foot each planet gains ten life and a view cast an instant all sorts of soul put a verse counter on it, then it deals damage equal to the number of verse counters on it to target player or planeswalker. And watcher for tomorrow, throat seeker. Vampire Ninja, that's the thing apparently. Battle Screech. And the commons, okay. Still no mythics. I wonder if they tend to clump together. I don't know if anybody's noticed War of the Spark. They tend to clump. 
the uh, mythics. Okay, we get a goblin token, just a non-foil, and this cool lion here. Very nice detail on that one. Snow-covered swamp. And rare is a giver of runes. Creature core cleric 1-2 for a single white tap. Another target creature control gains protection from colors or from the color of your choice until end of turn. And etchings of the chosen. Talisman of resilience. That's another thing in this set. They have a talisman cycle. So we'll see if we can get all of those. Rot Widow pack. And the rest. And what I'd really like to get is an Urza playmat. That thing looks pretty cool. The uh, full artwork there. We get a soldier token. Some more cool artwork. Get a nice look at that. Snow covered plains. And the rare is lightning skeletal. That's a nice pun. Creature elemental skeleton 6 1 for 3. In the Rakdos colors, has trample and haste. Whenever it does combat damage to a player, that player discards two cards at the beginning of the end step. Sack it. Okay, Generous Gift, Urza's Rage, Wing Shards, and that is it. And it's curious how the packs are in the swapped round order, but they don't have the pull tabs on them, so I'm not sure what the deal is there. Okay, we get a Foil Elephant Token. Some more full art, getting all unique ones so far, that's pretty good. So get a nice look at that. Snow covered mountain, are all the lands snow covered here? Curious, okay. And a mythic, yes it's Yogmoth Thran Physician. Fantastic. Legendary creature, human cleric, 2 four, for 4, protection from humans, what? Pay one life, second other creature, put a minus one, minus one counter on up to one target creature and draw a card. For two black, discard a card and proliferate. Very cool, I'll have a separate section for mythics over here. And a goblin matron, creature goblin, one one for three. We love the goblins, what does she do? When it enters the battlefield, you may search your library for a goblin card, reveal that card, put it into your hand and shuffle your library. Okay. Very cool. So goblins and slivers are what we're also on the lookout for. We've got a carrion feeder, exclude, and a bunch of commons. Doing fairly decently so far. Okay, foil or non-foil, that is a non-foil zombie. More cool artwork. Snow covered island. And the rare is. Wait! Oh wow! Foil silent clearing rare. Tap, pay one life, add white or black, pay one, tap, suck it, draw a card. Very cool foiling on that one. Holy moly. So we'll put that over there away from the tokens. Okay, and a cloud shredder sliver. Creature sliver, 1-1 one, one for 2. Sliver creatures you control have flying and haste. So if you're running a sliver deck, you want to use that one. That will probably be good in EDH as well. Everdream. Conifer worm. Grave shifter. And that is it for another pack. Onward. So foil rare. And incidentally, you may have noticed I'm popping up the prices in the corner. These prices are going to change significantly as time goes on, so you might want to look those up. But I'm going to tally up everything at the end. We get a shapeshifter. Oh, wow. This is one of those moxes. What is it? Mox tantalite, I think. Some cool detail on that. Very nice. And a snow covered forest. And the rare is Bizarre Trade Mage, Creature Human Wizard 3 4 for 3, has flying when it enters battlefield, draw 2 cards and discard 3 cards. And a Munitions Expert, Creature Goblin 1 1 for 2 with flash when it enters battlefield, you may have it deal damage to target creature or planeswalker equal to the number of goblins you control! 
Yes, the Goblin Tribal is getting a boost there. Wall of Blossoms, Hollow Head Sliver. Look at this dude, that's pretty cool. Alright, so we will move on to the next pack here. About a quarter of the way through the box so far. Okay, Zombie Token. Is that a, actually, that's foil. Okay, a bit hard to tell. Some more cool artwork here. Snow Covered Mountain. Oh, skipped over the rare. Oh no, this is a foil, a regular cohort. Just a common. And the rare is Miss Syndicate Naga. So Creature Naga Ninja. Whoa! Who knew there were Snake Ninjas? 3-1-3 three, three with nin Ninjitsu. Two and a blue. So for that cost, return unblock attack you control to hand. Put this card onto the battlefield from your hand. Tapped and attacking. Whenever it does combat damage to a player, create a token that's a copy of it. And Face of Divinity. Onarifage. Fudge. Squid Illusion. That's weird. Tempered Sliver. Very nice to see the Slivers back. Who's a Sliver fan? Do you run a Sliver deck? Did anyone check out that um, All Foil Sliver deck? Reviewed that on the channel a while back. I'll pop a link up in the corner. You want to check that out? Okay, you get a Spirit Token. This is Sarah Ascendant. Fantastic. That is another one I'd like a playmat of. Snow Covered Island, and the rare is Force of Negation. Instant for three. If it's not your turn, you may exile a blue card from your hand rather than pay the spell's mana cost. Counter target non creature spell. If that spell is counter this way, exile it instead of putting it into its owner's graveyard. And I'm getting everything mixed around here. We've got Feaster of Falls, Rebuild. Lanawar Tribe and a bunch of commons there. Okay, we get another foil spirit token. Wow, unique land, uh, not unique lands, unique artwork so far. Loving this idea. Snow covered forest and a foil trustworthy scout. With a... is that a... that's a mythic! Yes! Seasoned Pyromancer! Creature, Human, Shaman, 2-2 two, two for 3. When it enters the battlefield, discard 2 cards and draw 2 cards for each non-land card. Discard this way. Create a 1-1 one, one red elemental creature token for 3 and 2 red. Exile it from your graveyard. Create 2-1 one, one red elemental creature tokens. So, 2 mythics so far. And Abominable Tree Folk. Crypt Rats! Yes, rats are a thing as well. Or scale Guardian. And we'll move on here. Okay, we've got a zombie token. Non-foil. This guy. What is he? The Ogre. Very cool. Snow Covered Mountain and Merit Ledger's Slumber. Legendary Snow Enchantment for two. When it or another snow permanent enters the battlefield under your control, scry one at the beginning of your upkeep. If you control ten or more snow permanents, sack it. If you do create Merit Lige, a legendary 2020 Black Avatar creature token with flying and indestructible. That sounds insane. Bet you could do some evil things with that deck. We have Scale Up, Dismantling, Blow, Talisman of Hierarchy. Alrighty. And also this weekend for the patrons, I've been doing the patron snap pack videos. So a lot of cool pulls. Got a soldier token. More unique artwork. I'm loving this. I want to collect all of these. I'm sure everybody else does as well. So I think that's why they're going for at least a dollar each currently. We get a snow covered swamp, a foil Vespalark, 
And the rare is Astral Drift Enchantment for three. Whenever you cycle it or another card while it's on the battlefield, you may exile a target creature. If you do return a card to the battlefield under its owner's control, beginning of the next hand step, cycle it for two and a white. All right, Talisman of Curiosity, Forgotten Cave. Valiant Changeling. All right. Okay, another goblin token. Always good to have more goblins. This looks like a ninja of some description. I think we came across that one already. It's pretty cool. Or a vampire. And we get a snow covered island and force of rage. Instant for three. If it's not your turn, you may sell a red card from your hand rather than pay this spell's mana cost. Create two, three, one red elemental creature tokens with trample and haste. Suck those tokens at the beginning of your next end step. With a cunning evasion, vengeful devil, and sling gang lieutenant creature goblin. What's this guy do? When he enters the battlefield, create two 1 1 red goblin creature tokens. Psycho like goblin target player loses one life, and you gain one life. Alright, seems like a good deal. Okay, we've got an elemental. Ooh. Foil Elemental, I thought I saw some shininess to that one. And what do we got here? This is cool. Not sure what he is. That and it doesn't look like a sliver though. We've got a snow covered plains and Genesis. Okay, not a foil creature incarnation. Four four for five at the beginning of your upkeep. If it's in your graveyard, you may pay two and green. If you do return target creature card from your graveyard to your hand. And a Farmstead Gleaner, Thundering Jin, Alpine Guide. I'm looking forward to seeing those commons as well. We'll be snacking on those over the next week or so. So that'll be good. Shapeshifter, just a non-foil. Oh, Sliver. Look at that. Fantastic. Snow-covered mountain. Spiteful Sliver, there we go. Creature Sliver 223, Sliver Creature you Control Hab. Whenever this creature is dealt damage, it deals that much damage to target player or planeswalker. Now, was that the one we got already? I'm not sure. I don't think it was. We'll have to check at the end. First Sliver's Chosen. Goblin or a Flame. Enchantment for two. Attacking Creatures you Control get plus one, plus zero. Birthing Bows. All right. Okay, got another elemental token, non-foil. Some dude riding a unicorn zebra. That's crazy. Snow-covered plains and a mythic, the sword of truth and justice. Yes, artifact equipment for three. Equipped creature gets plus two plus two and has protection from white and from blue whenever equipped creature deals combat damage to a player. But a plus one plus one cannon creature you control then proliferate. Equipped cost is two. Alright, we've got one of the swords. There are several in this set. Smiting Helix. Twisted Reflection. Glacial Revelation. Alright. So now we're at the halfway point. I'm liking that we have um, 36 packs here instead of 24. A lot of goodness to be found here. We get a bird token on foil. Another unique artwork. Wow. Fantastic. Snow covered swamp. And a foil winter's rest. With. Ayula, Queen Among Bears. Legendary creature bear, 2-2 two, two for 2. Whenever another bear enters the battlefield under your control, choose one. Put two plus one plus one counters on target bear. Target bear you control fights target creature you don't control. So bear tribal is a thing as well, people. Scuttling sliver, nice. Lava belly sliver. Holy moly, talisman of creativity. And some more commons here. Okay, halfway point. 
Brazil hunting for Urza or Sarah Ascendant. Where are you? Okay, good day. Goblin token, non foil. More cool artwork. Loving this. That looks like a goblin there. Fantastic snow covered swamp. Cards seem to want to stick together. A foil goblin war party. Sorcery 4, choose 1, create 3, 1, one red, goblin, creature tokens, creatures you control, get plus 1, plus 1, gain haste until end of turn, entwine for 2 and red. So choose both if you pay the entwine cost. And the rare is Nurturing Peatland. It's land, tap, pay 1 life, add black or green for 1, tap, sack it, draw a card. We get a Smiting Helix, Good Fortune Unicorn, hopefully that's a good sign, Alpine Guide. Okay, we'll move this common stuff out of the way before we get an avalanche. It's already happening. Ah! Okay, we get a illusion token foil. That's pretty cool. Some more unique artwork. Loving this. Snow-covered plains, and the rare is Eladamri's Call, instant for two, search library for a creature card, reveal that card, put it into your hand, and shuffle your library. We get Splice's Skill, Pillage, and Talisman of Hierarchy. Alright. Okay, we get another Illusion token, just non-foil this time. A sliver! Yes! I wonder how many sliver art cards there are. Snow covered mountain. And the rare is collected conjuring. Sorcery for four. Exile the top six cards of your library. You may cast up to two sorcery cards with command mana cost three or less from among them without paying their mana cost. But the exile cards not cast as on the bottom of your library in a random order. And a feast of fools. Fact or fiction. There's a nice pull. Web Weaver Changeling. And now I'm sort of wishing I picked up more boxes of this, but it's not exactly cheap. We get a soldier. So I've got one more box on hand. We'll be doing the patron videos for that. Some weird frog dude. Snow-covered island and prismatic vista as well. Rare land. Tap, pay one life, suck it, search library for a basic land card, put it onto battlefield, then shuffle your library. Lonely sandbar, lava belly, sliver, there he is again. And a forgotten cave. Okay, elemental, non-foil. Looks like a shadow ninja or something. Very cool. Snow covered forest and a collector oof. Oofe. How do you say that? Creature oof. 2 2 for 2. Activated abilities of artifacts can't be activated. And he's a creepy looking dude. Regrowth. Or scale guardian. Talisman of creativity. And some shenanigans apparently. Curious what that card does, but we don't have the time. We want to get through it. I'm already running a little slow here. We have a bird token. Oh, is that the lightning skelemental? Nice. Snow covered mountain and Mirrodin besiege is a rare enchantment. For three as it enters the battlefield, choose Mirren or Phyrexian. So Mirren, whenever you cast an artifact spell, create a 1-1 colors, Mir, artifact creature token, Phyrexian at the beginning of your end step, draw a card, then discard a card. If there are 15 or more artifact cards in your graveyard, target opponent loses the game. Okay, so you've got to build up the artifacts there to get the win con. Secluded step, Talisman of Conviction, and a Squirrel Nest, and you can create Squirrel tokens. Love it. We haven't come across any Squirrel tokens yet. Maybe we'll get a couple of those in foil, preferably. Anyone remember the uh, squirrels from Unstable? Pretty cool. We get Shapeshifter. Oh, look at that. 
Very nice. Snow covered swampy nimble mongoose foil. And a mythic ranger captain of Eos. Creature human soldier 333. When it enters battlefield, you may search your library for a creature card with the converted mana cost one or less. Reveal it, put it into your hand, and shuffle your library. Suck it. Your opponents can't cast non creature spells this turn. So we're at four mythics so far. Cunning, Evasion, Valiant, Changeling, Siege Gang Lieutenant. There he is again. Okay. Some good stuff so far. We've got a Goblin Token. Oh, look at that. Fantastic. Not really familiar with the names. I don't really have time to swap them around, but I'll take a good look at those later. Snow Covered Island on Thin Ice is the rare. So, it's a Snow Enchantment Aura Enchant Snowland you control when on Thin Ice enters the battlefield. Exile target creature and opponent controls until it leaves the battlefield. And the Throws of Chaos, Frostwalk Bastion, Thundering Jin. Okay, Zombie Token. We've got this guy, the Phyrexian dude. Very cool. Snow Covered Plains and Pashalik Mons, legendary creature goblin warrior. Two, two for three. Whenever it or another goblin you control dies, it deals one damage to any target for three and a red. Sack a goblin, create two, one, one red goblin creature tokens. And scale up Urza's Rage, but we haven't found Ur Urza yet. Where are you, sir? Birthing bows. Yeah, I'm thinking they, they may continue this art card trend for these higher end sets. That would be pretty cool. What do you reckon? Leave a note in the comments. We get an elemental token. This looks like another sliver. Yes. Snow covered swamp and a goblin engineer creature goblin artificer one, two for two. When it enters battlefield, you may search your library for an artifact card, put it into your graveyard, then shuffle your library for red tap, second artifact, return target artifact card with convert amount of cost three or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. Look at this dude, love it. Talisman of Curiosity, rebuild, and Zalfarin decoy. Okay, so that's the, uh, the weird um, unicorn zebra thing. How would you like to own a unicorn zebra? Zebra, Zebra, I get mixed up all the time with the American and the Australian pronunciation. Okay, we get a Foil Soldier. And this rather unusual card here, not sure what's going on there. Snow Covered Island and Silent Clearing. Okay, so we had that one before in Foil, very cool. Throws of Chaos, okay, that's what it was. Undead Augur, Zombie Wizard, Ingenious Infiltrator. We're getting near the end of the box here. And then we'll tell it all up, see how we did. Okay, is this a non-foil illusion? Oh, that looks like an Eldrazi guy. Fantastic. Snow Covered Plains and a foil Baron Moor. I like the shine on that. Fantastic. Lots of good foils. And the rare is Kaya's Guile. Instant for three. Choose two. Each opponent sacks creature. Exile all cards from each opponent's graveyard. Create a 1 1 white and black spirit creature token with flying. You gain four life. Has entwined three. So choose all if you pay the entwine costs. And Soul Herder, Dismantling Blow, Tranquil Thicket. Alright. So this is, uh, the purpose of this set is to add a whole bunch of new cards to modern. So there's some reprints and some new cards. I'm not sure what the proportion was. I think there were quite a few new ones actually. So we get a Goblin. 
this big land dude. I don't think we've come across him yet. Snow covered mountain and the rare is Endling. Creature zombie shapeshifter 3-3 three, three for 4. So pay a black, gains menace until end of turn, or you can give it death touch until end of turn, or undying until end of turn, or give it plus one, minus one, or minus one, plus one until end of turn. Zombie shapeshifter. Very creepy. Vengeful devil. Lesser master core. I think we had a greater master core previously. Tribute mage. And there's that weird frog beast we saw earlier on one of the art cards. So down to the last five packs here. Still looking for Sarah or Urza. Come on! We need more mythics. We got a soldier, non foil. Oh, this uh, sword thing. It's pretty cool. Snow covered plains. Okay, so everything is snow covered in this set. Force of Virtue, enchantment for four. If it's not your turn, you may exile a white card from your hand rather than pay the spells. Mana cost has flash creature you control. Get plus one, plus one. You get Shatter Assumptions, Goblin Matron again. Lenawar Tribe. Alright, running out of chances here. Can't say we were hosed at all. I think there's a ton of value here, but still, Bird Token. Some cool artwork again. I could just stare at this stuff all day, but then the video would be like 10 hours long. Maybe someone should do a 10 hour video just staring at the art cards. Snow Covered Swamp. And where is Archmage's Charm? Instant for three. Choose one. Counter target spell. Target player draws two cards. Gain control of target non opponent with command may cost one or less. Abominable Tree Folk. Dregscape Sliver. Very cool. Firebolt. Alrighty, three packs to crack. Get a shapeshifter. This guy, hello, I'm happy to see you. My uh, spear here has some blood on it, or my dagger, whatever that is. Snow covered forest and force of despair. Let me guess, said McKinnon, yes. Instant for three. If it's not your turn, you may exile a black card from your hand rather than pay the spells. Mana cost. Destroy all creatures that enter the battlefield this turn. With a Nantuko Cultivator, Insect Druid, Frostwalk Bastion, and Ruination Rider. Last two packs. Come on, Urza. We need to find you, sir. Where are you? Get a foil, yes, that is a foil, shapeshifter token. And that looks, now is that a goblin or a naga? I'm not sure, or a weird frog person. I think it's probably a goblin. Got the frog goblins. Snow covered island, and rare is winds of abandoned. Sorcery for two. It's our target creature you don't control for each creature. So this way it's controller search their library for a basic land card. Those players put those cards onto battlefield tap, then shuffle their libraries as overload for two and two, uh, for four, sorry, and two white. Farmstead Gleaner Scarecrow. That's not creepy at all. Baron Moore and King of the Pride. Alright. Final pack here. Will we pass four mythics? I'd like there to be a nice mythic in the last pack. That would be fantastic. We have a zombie token. And I believe we've got unique art in every single pack. So I think there were like 50 something altogether. So let's take a quick look at this one. Yeah, 54. Okay, what is this? Arkham's Astrolabe. Snow covered forest and the rare is future sight. Not bad. Enchantment for five. Play with the top card of your library revealed. You may play the top card of your library. Blizzard Strix, Goblin or a Flame, and the Crypt Rats. Okay, so there we have it. Do a quick overview. So we've got the four mythics here, some nice selections, a lot of nice foils. Not including the tokens, I like the slivers as well. Fantastic. Alright, so we'll pop up the value here. Here's how we did. 
Did we beat the 225 box price? I think we might have. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button for more Magic the Gathering unboxings, and be sure to tap the notification bell to be notified as soon as new videos are released. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.